there and welcome back to our fourth and last video from the first series about revenue management. In this video I'm going to share with you some information about pricing strategy and the one that you need to choose or can choose to adopt at your property. Define the correct pricing strategy is so important that receiving your guest with a smile. To define the correct pricing strategy you need to know and analyze a key factor that is the demand. To effectively do that, you need to know your competition, know the price they are selling, know the occupancy that they have, and know the special events that occur at the location. And especially, know and analyze the historical data from your hotel. Example, you probably know that your reservation pickup is higher during the weekends than during the weekdays. So let me go move, move here to the whiteboard and explain you with a practical example the different pricing strategy that exists and the one that you can apply at your property. So imagine that at your location, that is this graph here, and being the, this line, the time, you have uh, the demand moving like this. Up, down, a little bit up, steady, down more, and moving along the time. The first pricing strategy I want to share is the flat rate pricing strategy. So this color here, the orange, will identify the flat rate pricing strategy. Which advantage did this pricing strategy have and which disadvantage did it have? So the advantage is that it's one time set pricing. So it's a, you set the price one time and you forget it. And you know that you always are selling your rooms at the same price. The disadvantage is that during some periods you're going to lose business. You, as you can see here in, in the graph, during this time of period, you are losing business because you are selling too high according to the demand that exists. So if you reduce a little bit the, uh, reduce a little bit the price, you're probably going to get more business and more clients will be attracted to your property. The second pricing strategy is going to be the dynamic pricing. So this green color will identify dynamic pricing. It's a strategy that goes with the flow, so moves according with the demand. And a big advantage of this pricing strategy is that you always know that you are selling the correct price according with the market. So you know when the demand increase, you're going to increase the rates, and when demand decrease, you're going to reduce the rates. The disadvantage is that it's a very time consuming, so you need someone to look at, at, at on, on a daily basis to the market and change and make the change according with the market reactions, higher or lower. So let me share the third pricing strategy and probably the most, the most, the best to, to apply at your, at your property. So this is going to be a mix of both and this pricing strategy we will have at some times a flat rate and on the other time we are going to increase the rate, we're going to be steady, we're going to reduce the rate, make steady again, increase, steady, reduce and move along the demand graph. So this demand will allow you to, to be a little bit more dynamic than the flat rate pricing strategy, but not so demanding in time, in time consuming as the dynamic pricing. So you can adopt this when, because you, you, need, you can adjust the time you want to give to analyze the pricing and probably not a daily basis, but on a weekly, on a monthly basis. And you can adopt this and apply just on some periods of time, especially on the special events, and increase the rates. And when you have low demand, reduce the rates and keep the rest of the year at the same rate. Probably it is not, this is not the best strategy to apply, but it's sure the, the, more, the most comfortable one because you can give just a limit of your time to analyze the pricing strategy and to apply according with the demand. So this was an example in a simple way. Probably you have questions or doubts that you can Send it to me and I'm with an athlete to re reply to you by email. And I hope that you have enjoyed the video. And surely come back for more videos with Revenue Management Part 2, where you're going to share more insights and cool topics about this activity. Thank you and have a nice day.